as I said, got money. Uh, this is for um, oh, uh, Smith. Smith. Yeah. And I'm gonna have to say I, I really respect, I really respect the honesty and, and coming out and and not being disrespectful and saying exactly how you feel and why. And I can understand why you why you think um, why you think the way that you do because I used to think the same way. Um, I can guarantee you this. There's absolutely no favoritism here at this company. And the reason I say that is because their system is not even set up to be favoritism. Um, so out of the five, top five, that's every month, I'm going to tell you about two of them. That's me and Lure. Um, Lure is my protege. Uh, I was his mentor from the beginning, and uh, I tried to keep him from doing what I do because no one really wants to do that it's it's, it's funny you can talk to him about it but I told him you don't want to do it but he kept on and kept on and so I told him how to do it and now I'm, now it's uh he knows exactly what I'm talking about so here's the deal yeah both of us do make five thousand dollars a week we make four to five grand every week no one does that for us and I need you to understand this realistically when you're running loads from point A to point B there is not going to be a single load that runs from point A to point B that's a customer freight that runs in that same lane that's going to pay a dollar more the reason that myself and Lure are, are cents per mile is you know almost 50 percent or more higher than yours is because there's only one thing that dictates that and if you're unaware of this in the trucking industry which most people are it's the fact that the lower mile loads they uh, they pay higher cents per mile most of you turn all of them down okay uh, those are the loads that pay like you know 540 dollars to the truck for you know, 130 miles. Most of the times people say, uh, that shit's a day cab driver's job, or, you know, that's, oh, I need miles, I need miles. Okay, that's, that's, that's the deal. Most of my loads pay about $7 a mile. But by running that, I have to, uh, I have to run, you know, deadhead back. So 50% deadhead. And I run split breaks because if you're picking up a load that runs from 7 a.m., all my loads are less than 300 miles. They have to deliver within 24 hours, all right? And I use split breaks and sleep on the door because during detention times and everything, I have to make sure I still have hours to run afterwards. Because let's say that you run seven loads a week and those seven loads a week are... You know, that's so like my average, let's see, uh, 49. Let's just say all seven of those short runs that you run are paying $500 to the truck, okay? Then that's $3,500 a week in gross or to the truck. So $3,500 a week in gross to the truck minus your $1,300 or mine's $1,400, you know, fixed expenses. Then that's $2,100 of profit. But now you got your variable expenses. Remember, half of my miles are empty, and I do not get any pay for my deadhead. So I, that comes out of pocket at $0.60 cents per mile. So if I ran 2,800 miles that week, $0.60 cents of 1,400 miles is 4.2. That's, that's $820 right there out of pocket. So now I'm looking at, you know, that's $1,400, you know, that week that I'm going to make. Well, how how am I making 5000 then? Four to 5000 Well, that's because I'm doing 10 to 12 loads a week. It's the only way that short loads work is that you have to put in more than one a day. So whether it's one and a half a day or however you calculate it, you have to do that. And in order to do that... Right now, currently, it's, uh, I think it's about 3 a.m., and my day started this morning at uh, 6 a.m. How's that possible? Well, 
Because I drove six hours straight and then hit a spl or five hours straight because I'm going up for an interview at the main at the main office uh, for tomorrow. So I drove um, you know five hours straight, split during a bad wreck on the interstate, slept for seven hours, turned right back around and drove the remaining four. So now I'm here in Minnesota and I'm putting three hours on the door here while I'm waiting to get unloaded. And then I will, oh, should be taking a nap, but I wanted to answer your, you know, your question there, the way that you felt. And then I'll get that time in, that'll recoup uh, the time, then I'll drive to my next delivery, pop that off. Then, uh, you know, go on about my business. And I, I do that. Some days I'm sleeping at night. Sometimes I'm sleeping during the day. Sometimes I don't sleep at all. <laughs> and uh, it's just a constant, it's a constant juggling match. But if you're putting in the same miles, you know, the only way to make more money is to get more cents per mile. Now, if you're going to an area that's a dollar eighty-five a mile and, you know, I, I don't run into those areas, I but I know what those areas are. You're never going to get like, like if you think that people are giving other people good loads, you just don't understand the way it works. Like there's no such thing as good loads. All right. There's profitable loads and not profitable loads. And that completely depends upon what your definition of success is. Uh, myself and Lure, you know, if you want to come on, that's not a problem at all. I mean, we will train you up, train you exactly how to do this. It's no problem at all. I mean, a promise, and we'll train you how to use your fleet manager and how to tell them what you want to run and everything. But you're going to have to get it out of your head to think that we're not special by no means. No one, as a matter of fact, most no one likes me at all. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm not a favorite. Um, but I know where the freight's at. I know how to run, and I'm 100% on time. And, uh, my PTAs are 100% accurate, and I do not let go. I, I'm relentless. I make sure everything that I do, and I make sure that I get my next load. And that's it. You don't catch me sitting over the weekend bitching about, like, you know, well, they said on Friday they would get me a load, but then on Saturday it came, and now I'm waiting on a plan. Like, you know, you don't see that shit out of me. I have already know. I know. I don't have any expectations. I, I, I know what reality is. So, but it took me a while to get there, but it only took me three months to train lower. Three months and this son of a gun, he's, he's going to make over $40,000 in March. Okay. He's, he's smoking me. That's, that's what happens when a real truck driver runs a numbers guy system. So sure you can do it, but you better get this crap out of your head. Think that somebody gives a shit to us. Cause that don't, that don't work. Uh, if that was the case, like, I mean, why wouldn't they want everybody to be, you know, to make it, I, I know why you feel that way because you see the same people on the top, but that's not the way it is over here. You know, I can put you right on the top and then everybody else can, as long as you're willing to do the work and you, you know, don't argue too much and put you right there on the top too. And then everybody else is going to be saying the same shit about you that you're saying about us. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, ask Lure. I told him he didn't want this. I told him, you don't want it. You don't want to be the best. Now he's the best. And there's more knives in his back, people messing with his shit and talking to him and everything else. And it's like, you know, and all it is is it's figuring out where everything's at, which if you watch the videos, I'll try to tell you all where everything was and give you the best opportunities. But, you know, if you want to make four to $5,000 a week, I'll tell you, you don't want to. But if you need to, I got no problem showing you. Reach out. You know, if you don't know my number, uh, call your recruiter. You know, they'll give you my number. Or call Laura. Her number's on the thing. Just call them. They'll give me my number. Or email me and, you know, send me your number and I'll call you. That guy answered your, your message, you know, within an hour. But it's not any shade. I really appreciate the respect that you put into that. I just want you to know your line of thinking is not right. Um, but I understand why you have that line of thinking. But it's not correct. If you're really willing to put in the work, hell, lure will, I'll make lure mentor you. And um, hey, that some gun's going to make over $40,000 in March. Watch him. Probably 44, 45. Yeah, he's going to blow your mind. Nobody likes him either. <laughs> All right.
man. Stay safe. Stay profitable. Love and respect.